Hello everyone and welcome back to Trinity Online channel. Thank you for your support and subscribing to the channel itself. I upload videos every week so I hope you guys can subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Today we are actually looking at the Karak which is the end game ship. Now there are four types of Karaks, namely the Advance, the Balance, the Valor and the Volante. Now if you want to find out which ship to go for, and what is the pros and cons, you can actually watch my other video which is located on my website. Just go and check out the website and you will see all the guides for ship related content. Now, without further ado, I'm going to jump in into this video. I'm going to play the video to let you guys watch the entire thing first and then I'm going to repeat it and then we can talk about it and you guys can leave a comment in the comment section. So here we go. So I hope you guys like the first impression. Now at the start of the ship itself, there are some symbols here. I'm not too sure what they are, but they look like those star symbols or horoscope symbols. Now I do like the details of right on the sail itself. Now instead of just a you know usual fabric that is not really designed for, now they are sort of like emblems and stuff. Now um, what I like about the horse version if you can take a closer look, is this glow over here on the horse body. And then there's this really unicorn glow on top that's like a screw design, a spiral design. And look at the back of the Karak itself as it sails past. You will be able to see the detail here at the back over on this side. I think this is really nice, especially the touch of the horses here. So it's not merely just a normal Karak skin with a different color, but you can see the motif of the emblem above as well. You can see the stitching effects. So I think all in all, even the grills at the back, all right, the window grills at the back, um, is really nicely detailed out for a ship itself. And this is another Karak, all right? This is second Karak. You can see that the color scheme is a little bit different. This time around, it's like a yellowish golden, all right? It's sort of like a green tinge. And you can also see that the front, okay, has a different animal type, just like the four Karaks each has a different animal to start with. And I particularly like this one because the horn over here, if that's what you call it, um, is very prominent. Okay, it's more prominent than the one that's on the horse, I feel, all right, because of the way that is so outstanding being shown in front. And if you want to observe right down to the model of this animal, all the way to the body of the ship, the details is fantastic. Even the window opening over here. Um, when we talk about the cannon, the cannon just looks normal for now. But I love the sail, the design, the stitching is really, really nice and intricate. So this really impresses me. So I think Pearl Abyss has really done a great job, okay? And this is the next character. Oh my god, this is really awesome looking, okay? It's like the dragon kind of thing with the red horn. Um, I don't really see the effect like the one with the deer or the one with the unicorn. Mainly, it's just a small glow on the red, all right, on the eyes and a bit here on the body. Um, not seeing too much of the really stunning effect, but as we take a closer look further on, oh my goodness, just look at this little dragons flying around. I hope that's a really a dragon or, or whatever you want to call it. All right, and there may be some terms for it. And I really love the fact that they paid attention to this detail at the back of the ship itself. So each character has his own symbol. So this is a nice add-on. And as we go to the last character later, you will see something similar of this effect as well. So I believe this is most probably the Volante scheme, all right? And the dragon one is supposed to be Valor because Valor is supposed to be an attacking ship with high damage, while Volante, the eagle, is supposed to be a speed 
all right, like a speedster that excels in high speed. So um, for the Volante itself, I love the effect of the eyes. I love the details of the wing. And I myself, I have a Volante because I prefer speed over damage or over weight for barter. I, I just really like speed, all right? So uh, I would definitely buy this. If this is in the pro shop, I'll definitely buy it. Honestly, I don't have the details to how this is going to be, you know, uh, played out in the community um, because I've been really busy with work lately. And so all I can say is that if this thing is in pro shop, I'll definitely get it. All right. And I want you guys to take note as we sail, look on the left side, there are like whales or I don't think it's dolphins. I think it's whale because dolphins would have a fin on top. Sharks would have a fin on top. But this is probably a whale because I don't see any fin on top. And it's on the left and on the right as well. So they randomly appear. So this final shot captures all four versions of the ship sail. This is probably the representation of each character type from the dragon to the eagle to the horse to the deer. And each of them has a color scheme of its own. All right. So let me know in the comment section. So let me know in the comment section, okay, whether is this up to your expectation or you had other ideas in mind before you saw this video? Do you like the design? Does the color scheme suit you in terms of the ship that you have or you're working towards which ship? Will you actually buy it if this thing is in the pearl shop? I hope to hear from you guys on what you guys think of the design, whether you think it's worth it. I don't have the stats as to when you equip it, does it improve your stats? for the ship or is it a really just a cosmetic items if you have the answer please feel free to comment on the comment section below do check out the links in the description to my website where you can find out more ship guides on how to make money i have a calculator with all the icons there for new players to easily use as well you know so check out my website subscribe to this channel comment on the comment and don't forget the most important thing help me just press that thumbs up like button okay i hope by the end of this year we can really Really hit a 10k subscriber target for this channel and I really need your help for this so I will thank you very much in advance for clicking that subscribe button so I'm gonna end this video here thank you for watching you guys have a good life enjoy every moment of it I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye